I'll watch this. So apparently there's a new stick of butter. A lot of people have been getting very upset about this. It looks, smells, and tastes like the butter we're all familiar with. But yeah. without the farmland, fertilizers, or emissions tied to that typical process. And this butter breakthrough, mm -hmm. it's happening right here in Batavia. Wow. In the middle of an industrial park in the suburb is. west of Chicago, it's next to, the company yeah. is called Saver. And you better so believe it. Gas? Their pioneering tech uses carbon and hydrogen to make the stick of butter you right. see on this plate. Yep. To be able to make food that looks and tastes like I like the idea of eating animals. I'd eat people if I could. Only people I don't like, though. Yeah, just like, I mean, it just seems badass, you know? It's like, reminds you that you're an animal. You know what I mean? Was it just me? I'm just saying. Feels exactly like dairy butter, but with yeah. no agriculture whatsoever. And no long ingredient list the average person can't pronounce. It's really just our fat, some water, a little bit of lecithin as an emulsifier, and some natural flavor and color. Uh -huh. How? People are Fats mad. are made up of carbon and hydrogen oh. chains. The goal here? Replicate those chains without animals or plants. W why? And they did it. They tell me to simplify. They take carbon dioxide from the air and hydrogen from water. I think this is the concern that a lot of people have with technology like this and food like this is that people don't know if in like, you know, like asbestos used to be advertised as a positive and now it kills people. I think that what people have, uh, uh, and this is the same thing with the COVID vaccine, right? Is that people have a tremendous amount of distrust towards any sort of, you know, miracle food, miracle cure, miracle drug, you know, uh, synthetic meat, anything like that. Heat them up and oxidize them. The final result? It looks like a wax, like a candle wax at first. Mm -hmm. But they're fat molecules, yeah. like the ones in beef, cheese, or vegetable oils. Uh -huh. Sustainability is why we are here. It's all done releasing- We won't have to worry about sustainability whenever they invent the new plague and it kills 80% of the human population. That will be soon. Zero greenhouse gases, using no farmland to feed cows. Don't need to- In, in addition to the to carbon COVID. footprint being much lower for yes. a process like this, right? The land footprint- right is like a thousand times lower than what you need in traditional uh -huh. agriculture. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. I think we need to taste this. This is going to give you cancer in 30 years. That's what I would be thinking. How yes. does it taste? I love probably butter, the same. It probably so I'm going to take a really healthy I uh, amount. I, I bet you could probably get people to say it tastes about the same. I, I think now if you ask that guy that's 800 pounds, you would not be able to fool him. You would never be able to fool him. He would immediately see through this facade. He could tell instantly that this is fake butter. But I think like, you know, the cutoff is probably like, you know, 280 pounds. Like if you're under 280 pounds, you probably can't tell the difference. Admittedly, surprisingly, like butter. Cheers. See, and they're both thin. So, so they, they have no idea. These girls probably like eat avocado toast at brunch with their friends. They probably go to Burger King twice a year it's like butter another reason they say this no, makes an no, impact no palm oil a significant What's contributor that? to deforestation and climate change <laughs> that's it's not all of the 51 billion tons of greenhouse mm -hmm. gases emitted every year yeah seven percent is from the production of fats and oils from animals and plants it's cow farts basically they're not going to say it that's what it is so when could you get a taste yourself yeah Right now, they're working directly with restaurants, uh -huh. bakeries, and food suppliers. Releasing these- I'd eat one. I'd do it. I'd eat it. Yep. I'd do it. Chocolates made with their butter in time for the holidays. We expect that to be on the shelves well, kind of more like around 2027. That, that's generally 2027. That's like two years. Uh, the reason why is that, like, I- I'm in a position where, like, I can eat anything. Like, well, there was one time uh, somebody made me eat a spring roll, and I still think about that. This was, like, a year and a half ago. I still think about that spring roll. It was one of the worst days of my life. It was brutal. Was that good? Yeah, real, real bad. Teams here in Batavia, Illinois, and their home lab base in San Jose, California, yeah. backed by Bill Gates, who wrote in his Bill blog... Bill Gates is, uh, yeah... 
Bill Gates is, is definitely, he's trying to help everybody. So what about like that Epstein Island thing with Bill Gates? Like what? Because like his wife, div whatever happened with that? Do you guys remember that? That's crazy, right? Yeah. What the hell? Og, quote, the idea of switching to lab-made fats and oils uh -huh. may seem strange at first, yeah. but their potential to significantly reduce our carbon footprint is immense. Believing. I, I just think that technology and the business class has completely lost the trust of the public in terms of technology's innovations. And the reason why is because there's been so, I, I think it's, it would not, I, there's one reason why, there's one data point that proves this, it's the COVID vaccine. It's the COVID vaccine. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. That's the reason why nobody trusts companies anymore. And then you compound that with, you know, spying technologies on your phone. You compound that with the Patriot Act. And what do you have? You've got people that don't trust the government. So, yeah, that's it. People are afraid of this kind of stuff because they're worried. I think what people are worried about is that they're worried that this is going to have some sort of long-term health effect that's not fully realized in testing. That's the reason why people are uncertain about this, basically. Yeah, your Wi-Fi is spying on you as well. You know your Wi-Fi through um, sound signals can actually parse out who's in a room and where they are. Like a uh, Echo the Dolphin or like Whale, like Daredevil shit. Utter you believe that? can make a difference. Wow. This is really about wow. how we feed our species mm -hmm. and heal our planet at the same time. Yeah. I put more information on food sustainability and how this could impact our food industry moving forward in the story that's up on our website right now. I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago Investigators. Yep, well, there it is. And you can have a lot of people. Obviously, there's been a number of comments about this and uh, people are unhappy about it. And I'll go ahead and I'll pull this up. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these here. The way a test is, leave it outside overnight. If it's not devoured by bugs and animals the next morning, it's not fit for human consumption. Well, that's not good about McDonald's then. I've ever sped human shit across my toast and rolled the dice with any food product from Bill Gates. And oh, there's Cypher from the Matrix, not necessarily so good. And uh, with our butter again uh-oh this is the plot of crimes of the future the world is changing you better let go until god can raise your frequency uh-oh nobody likes this at all and so people are pretty pissed uh i would try it out i mean for content but i would not want to eat this myself i'll tell you that butter's been fine uh, another danger of fake butter is banning of real butter republicans were against electric stoves because banning of gas stoves which new york tried implementing